Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the NSQL interview is very important stage for attaining your dream goal. So, myself, uh, one minute, myself, MLU Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome the obstacle which you're facing right now by explaining all the various questions asked in top MNCs, which are already available at the LeetCode platform. All my code co solutions for the questions which I explained in this YouTube channel are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. You need to comment. In addition to that, I've also segregated the videos into five playlists, namely SQL, Medium, Hard, and Premium playlist, and all questions ordered by the sequence of serial numbers in the lead code platform. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. The question which we are trying to solve today is uh, Q number 1142 user activity for the past 30 days to type easy. Let's see the question in lead code. It is already asked in Facebook, Zoom. User activity is for the past 30 days to. Okay. okay. They have given a table. It is consisting of user ID, activity, session. Okay. It can be open session and session scroll and something. Okay. Now what they are asking is write an SQL query to find the average number of sessions uh, user per a period of 30 days ending 2019-7 inclusively round of two digits the session went to over okay. okay let's see this input table I will explain you right now They are asking for the past days 2019-722 that days means 2019-07-27-2019-06-28 okay now if you see this doesn't come under this one this also doesn't come under this one these are the valid days okay now what they are asking is ratio of unique sessions by total number of users. What are the unique number of users? 3. What are the unique number of sessions? 1, 4, 2, 5. Yeah. Uh, how many are there? 1, 4, 2, 5. Okay. 4 are there. Okay. So we want in percentage. We want it as 4 by 3 into 100 which is 133 point something. Okay. We need to round off that. Okay. So what we need to do? We need to filter for this date range. After that we need to count number of distinct session id by distinct user id let's write it Okay, let's filter activity date between it should be between previous 20, uh, 30 days of that one means date add uh, what is the column they're asking minus 29 days to 2019 Zero seven twenty seven and two thousand nineteen zero seven twenty seven. Okay, this is the date range which we want. From that, what we want select okay, average session per user. It should be count distinct. count distinct session id by count distinct user id as 
average sessions per user okay let's run it okay we need to multiply into 100 percentage 100.0 Uh, the data function requires uh, additional arguments let's see okay we are doing addition of days comma okay let's see the answer Okay, they don't want for 100 they want only for division percentage run okay they just want to round up to two digits round comma two digits let's run it I think it got satisfied let's submit it okay what is the issue okay there is an issue of division by zero okay when nothing is matching for example here we are dividing four by three imagine there is zero by zero there will be some error right we need to uh, counter this error let's say if it is zero let's try is null sorry let's skip something one let's see whether it works sorry round it over what we are doing is uh, one more let's see uh, division by zero error and count then what you will do is null count of distinct user ID okay if it is zero okay we should check it with zero if it is zero it will return as null Let's say if both are null, let's return it as null, and the total solution will be null. Then, then we will keep is null. Yes. So what we have done is there is an issue whether it is uh, divided by zero it will be not uh, multiplied so what we have done is if it is zero I am saying t uh, keep it as null okay if it is that one I will keep it as null then anything by null division by null it will return as null then what I am saying is if it is null make it zero okay round of zero to two digits done yes thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed analysis like this just subscribe to my channel and share it with your classmates friends and whoever is preparing for the data analyst and data scientist interviews keep hustling keep growing and best wishes to all of you thanks for watching